The overall goal of this confocal microscopy technique is to image the pH and area of the neutrophil phagocytic vacuole and cytoplasm. This method enables the monitoring and quantification of dynamic changes in the pH, in the phagocytic vacuole, and in the cytoplasm, and also the volume of the phagocytic vacuole. So these measurements change with the activity of the NADPH oxidase and can be used as surrogate markers of its function and of ion fluxes across the membrane of the phagocytic vacuole. The main advantage of this technique is that both the phagosome and cytoplasm can be simultaneously imaged with a dye that has a wide pH range. To begin this procedure, prepare an aliquot of carboxy S1 succinimidyl ester by diluting 50 micrograms of it in 100 microliters of high-grade DMSO. Vortex it well to mix. Next, prepare 1 milliliter of 1 times 10 to the 8th heat killed or HK candida in 0.1 molar sodium bicarbonate in a 15 milliliter tube. Add 100 microliters of carboxy S1 one drop at a time to the HK candida while mixing on a vortex at 2000 RPM. After that, wrap the tube with aluminum foil and place it on a roller at room temperature for one hour. After an hour, wash the HKC-S1 three times by centrifuge.